We really cannot be taken seriously when we say we want to stand up for mental health as a society if we pay no attention to the fact that uh, so many deaths are attributed to the stress caused by Ofcom inspections. So many deaths are attributed to the problems of appearing or being involved in reality TV production. We cannot, we cannot take these um, claims that the government is interested in mental health seriously when these issues are outstanding. When the Home Secretary doesn't bother answering a letter sent by Katie Vessel, when the Home Office and the um, Secretaries of State, the various Secretaries of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sport don't bother answering letters from me, when letters aren't answered, when directed to the various Secretaries of State who represented the Department of Education. It's not that the government doesn't know about these deaths and the fact that the uh, systems put in place, Ofsted, Ofcom, are not doing their job, if anything. They're compounding the problem. Uh, no, the government knows very well. So all this talk about a care, a concern for mental health is rhetoric, is just words, just words. It would be perhaps more meaningful if the government ministers in question actually bothered to reply to Kate Vassell, to myself, to other people who have written again and again and again about these failings in Ofsted, in Ofcom. And I'm sure we can go further. But when government organisations or government-sponsored organisations that are there to support and there to provide help are actively hiding the fact that their failure or their attention is causing death, is driving people to despair and to suicide, then all we can say is the government's, quote, interest in mental health is not worthwhile, is not real, is not constructive, or is failing utterly. We would have more belief in the government if the ministers in question could be bothered, could be bothered to answer their mailbox.